The World Health Organization, WHO, on Friday launched a new toolkit for school students aged 13 to 17 to allow them to the tobacco industry tactics used to hook them to addictive products. Every year, the tobacco industry invests more than $9 billion in advertising that is increasingly targeting young people in the bid to replace the 8 million people that its products kill every year. This year's WHO's World No Tobacco Day campaign focuses on protecting children and young people from exploitation by the tobacco and related industry. The toolkit has a set of classroom activities, including one that puts the students in the shoes of the tobacco industry to make them aware of how the industry tries to manipulate them into using deadly products. It also includes an educational video, myth busters quiz, and homework assignments. Even during a global pandemic, the, the tobacco and nicotine industry persists by pushing products that limit people's ability to fight coronavirus and recover from the disease. The industry has offered free branded masks and delivery to your door during quarantine and has lobbied for their products to be listed as essential. Joining us for a conversation on World No Tobacco Day and related issues is Dr. Femi Ojo, a medical practitioner. Thank you, Dr. Femi, for joining us on the news. Yes, good afternoon. My pleasure to be with you this afternoon. How relevant is the theme for this year of unprecedented challenges? Okay, so um, WHO has set aside the uh, 31st of May of every year to mark um, World No Tobacco Day. This is the day that uh, we launch campaign against uh, smoking. Uh, the theme for this year is, uh, you know, protecting the youth from the manipulation of the uh, big tobacco companies and also preventing them from the use of uh, nicotine. The, the theme is quite relevant for this year because uh, 2020 has been quite challenging because of you know, COVID-19. As at the moment, over almost 400,000 people have died. You know, uh, most of the mortality is coming from uh, Europe and North America. So, and uh, studies have shown that you know, large number of these people, you know, they have background comorbidities you know, linked to uh, effect of smoking. You know, one way or the other, take for instance, um, you know, chronic obstructive pulmonary airway disease, asthma, and so on and so forth. Uh, now, the, the, the target of most of these tobacco companies is to actually replace, you know, the large number of people that have died. And the best way they think they can do that is to recruit, uh, you know, the younger generation by luring them into actually commencing uh, smoking. Now, Dr. Femi, do, do you share the WHO concerns and how significant is that for us right here in Nigeria? Okay, so um, it should be, uh, you know, stated clearly that smoking is injurious, injurious to one's health. Smoking has been associated with large, quite a number of, you know, health effects, talking about um, the effect on the respiratory system, uh, cardiovascular system, central nervous system, and so on and so forth. So if you have smoked significantly, the likelihood of having these health problems, you know, is there. And um, like I said, you know, for patients that have died from COVID-19, large number of them, you know, were seen to have smoked at one point in time or the other. And if you look at this, the best way is to prevent the younger generation, you know, from being manipulated uh, to start smoking because the health effects are there. Now, coming to our country, studies have shown that the number of people that are smoking, you know, have greatly increased over, over the time. Um, currently, we have over 13 million people, you know, that are smoking. So it's rather unfortunate that um, this is what we're experiencing, you know, at this particular point in time, and you know what the problem is. The driving force is money. Um, billions of, of dollars, you know, have been generated by big tobacco companies over the, over the, you know, on yearly basis. And that is why, you know, they're doing this, you know, everything possible to make sure that they recruit more people using uh, social media, using celebrities, influencers, you know, to cajole people, to manipulate people so that they can start smoking. This is rather unfortunate because we're not telling them the health effects 
of smoking, you know, after some time. So people, you know, they need to be aware of the health effects and they need to be aware of the manipulations, you know, of these tobacco companies so that um, they'll be able to make an informed decision as to whether they have to start smoking or not. You know, most of these tobacco companies, they have decided to introduce uh, quite a number of, uh, you know, strategies talking about introducing different flavors depending on people's choices, you know, making slicky, uh, you know, packages, making sure that, um, you know, they cite vending machines close to where there are schools, indiscriminate citing of smoking areas, you know, in contrary to, uh, you know, regulations by D WHO and waging legal war, you know, to downplay the, you know, um, smoking uh, laws, you know, in, in different countries. So all these, are, all these, you know, uh, strategies are there. And that is why we're raising uh, so much awareness so that people will be, you know, familiar, you know, people will be familiar with some of these tactics and, you know, uh, they make informed decisions as regards their own health by stopping smoking for those who are already smoking and for those who are not who are just intending to start smoking, you know, they, they don't start, you know, to engage in such acts. And for those that are smoking, um, if you consult with your doctor, there are different strategies that would deploy to uh, help smokers. You know, we talk about um, smoking cessation program, you know, that you can be enrolled in uh, to help you quit uh, smoking.